Hello, my name is Kinga Maroshek and I'm an English teacher. Welcome to another episode of Angielski po Turki do Maturki. And today we will pay attention to uh, some issue which is quite problematic to Polish uh, learners of English. Uh, this will be indirect questions and I know that some students make some mistakes here. Uh, so um, I hope that after watching this video and doing some exercises, practicing it, uh, you will have no problems with it. So let's start. Have a look at this conversation. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest station is? Uh, certainly, it's along the road, that road on the right. Thank you. And do you know if there is a supermarket near here? Yes, there is one next to the station. Thank you very much for your help. So, um, I use indirect questions when I'm asking for help in the street because they are very polite. Indirect questions start with a phrase like could you tell me or do you know? For example, direct question is where is the bank? And indirect question could you tell me where the bank is? Notice that in the indirect question I put the verb is after the subject the bank in the same way as I do with a normal positive sentence. The bank is over there. But in the direct question, I put the verb is before the subject, the bank. This is called inversion, as we know it very well. And it is used to make direct questions in many verb tenses in English. But we don't use inversion in indirect questions. This is very similar to the grammar of reported questions. However, we use indirect questions in a different way from reported questions. Indirect questions are a way of being polite. They are very, very common in English, especially when you are talking to someone you don't know. And we have some different types of indirect questions. The first one is yes-no questions. To make an indirect yes-no question, we use if and the word order of a normal positive sentence. Uh, this is the same as for reported yes-no questions. On the other hand, we don't usually need to backshift, so we don't change the tense of the verb as in the reported speech and reported questions, as we do with reported questions, yes, as, I, uh, I, as I've just told you. Of course, most tenses make questions by using inversion, so changing the word order, to change from a direct yes-no question with inversion to an indirect question, you add if and change the word order back to a normal positive sentence. So you don't need to use inversion here. Yeah, so let's have a look at it. We have all the tenses here so we can have a look at it. So the present simple with be. Is he Spanish? An indirect question can be, can you tell me if he is Spanish? The next one. Is the restaurant closing now? And indirect question, can you tell me if the restaurant is closing now? Past simple with B, uh, was he late for the meeting? And indirect question, can you tell me if he was late for the meeting? Past continuous, were you watching TV at 3 p.m.? An indirect one, can you tell me if you were watching TV at 3 p.m.? Present perfect, has Lucy been to Mexico? Can you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Present perfect continuous. Has she been living here long? Can you tell me if she has been living here long? Past perfect. Had she found this job when she moved here? And can you tell me if she had found this job when she moved here? Past perfect continuous. Had she been living here long when she met you? Can you tell me if she, she had been living here long when she met you? Future simple with will. Will she start her new job next week? Can you tell me if she will start her new job next week? Future simple with going to. Is it going to rain later? Can you tell me if it is going to rain later? Future continues. Will Lisa be meeting the boss later? Can you tell me if Lisa will be meeting the boss later? Future perfect. Will he have finished the report by tonight? Can you tell me if he will have finished the report by tonight? Future perfect continues. Will he have been studying French for 20 years when he retires? Can you tell me if he will have been studying French for 20 years when he retires? And modal verbs. Should we start now? Can you tell me if we should start now? 
So if we ask no questions with tenses that uh, use do, does or did, uh, the story is different. Sometimes you want to make an indirect question using the present simple of any verb except be or the past simple of any verb except be. These tenses make direct questions by using do, does or did. Uh, when we want to make indirect yes-no questions using these tenses, we need if and we don't need do, does or did. So, present simple with any verb except be. Does David live in London? An indirect question. Can you tell me if David lives in London? Past simple with any verb except be. Did Amanda call John yesterday? And indirect question. Can you tell me if Amanda called John yesterday? Uh, with uh, WH questions, uh, we do it in the same way uh, with reported WH questions. Mm, and we use the question word and the word order of a normal positive sentence to make indirect uh, WH questions. We don't need to use inversion. Again, we also don't usually need to backshift, so change the tense of the verb, as we do with reported questions. To change a direct question to an indirect question for tenses that make questions using inversion, you just add if and change the word order back to a normal positive sentence. So again, some examples referring to all the English tenses and grammar structures. Um, so, why is he unhappy? Can you tell me why he is unhappy? When is the restaurant closing? Can you tell me when the restaurant is closing? Why was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me why he was late for the meeting? Uh, what were you doing at 3 p.m.? Can you tell me what you were doing at 3 p.m.? Uh, where has Lucy been? Can you tell me where Lucy has been? How long has she been living here? Can you tell me how long she has been living here? Why had she quit her job before she moved here? Can you tell me why she had quit her job before moved here? Before she moved here? How long had she been living here when she met you? Could can you tell me how long she had been living here when she met you? When will she start her new job? Can you tell me when she will start her new job? When is it going to rain? Can you tell me when it is going to rain? What time will Lisa be meeting the boss? Can you tell me what time Lisa will be meeting the boss? When will he have finished the report? Can you tell me when he will have finished the report? How long will he have been studying French when he retires? Can you tell me how long he will have been studying French when he retires? What should we do now? Can you tell me what we should do now? And again, WH questions for tenses with do, does or did. Um, sometimes you want to make an indirect WH question using the present simple of any verb except the be or the past simple of any verb except be. Usually these, these tenses make questions by using do, does or did. However, when we want to make indirect WH questions using these tenses, we don't need do, does, did. Instead, we use a question word and then normal positive sentence word order. Uh, for example, where does David live? Can you tell me where David lives? Or why did Amanda call John yesterday? Can you tell me why Amanda called John yesterday? And we have some common problems here to remember about. It can be difficult to remember to put the verb after the subject, especially when the indirect question is in the present simple tense of be. For example, we need to say, could you tell me where the station is? Yeah, not, could you tell me where is the station? It's a very important rule to remember. There are two rules that we should remember um, and pay attention to while uh, speaking or writing something that we can't do uh, double negatives in English, double negations and double questions. So if we have the beginning of the sentence as here, we have the sentence uh, 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 question form, could you tell me, then we can't do it again. Yes, yeah? so we should have the positive sentence later on. Could you tell me where the station is? And it refers to all the tenses here, so every indirect question will look the same, just the tense will be different. Okay, so let's have a look at some exercises. 
And not to make it so easy that uh, we should only write indirect questions, here we should be careful because some of them can be direct questions as well. So, I don't know the answer. How many times do I have to tell you? Here we have a normal uh, question, direct question. I don't know why he's always so unhappy. Yeah, here uh, we don't have a question uh, at the end, yes, question mark. And this form of I don't know also refers to, to some information we don't know, so it's all right to say I don't know why he's always so unhappy. The next one, do you have any idea when, so the question form is at the beginning, so do you have any idea when the results will, will be published? So a normal positive sentence later on. How many people did you call for the party? A normal question, a direct question, let's call it properly. I wonder uh, how this cold, uh, le uh, long, how long this cold weather will last. Yeah, we have I wonder, so it's also about um, like thinking about something, uh, not being so sure. That's why I wonder how long this cold weather will last. Number six, did she tell you how often? Again, we have a question form at the beginning, so later we should have a positive sentence. Did she tell you how often you should take the vitamins? Uh, I'd like to know, hmm, for the experiment, I'd like to know uh, whether or if we can use interchangeably whether I can use the new product for the experiment. Yes, I'd like to know, so again, it's a type of indirect question. Could you tell me why, another indirect question here, could you tell me why you are leaving? Yeah, we have a question at the beginning and the positive sentence at the end. Uh, can I ask you how long, again, indirect question, can I ask you how long you have been living here? And the last one, it starts only with why, so why shouldn't I call her? Yeah, why not? So why shouldn't I call her? Yeah, let's check our answers. Okay, everything is correct. Um, so this is how it looks like with, uh, with indirect questions. As I told you before, you should be very careful uh, when it comes to uh, making indirect questions not to use the question form twice in a sentence, only at the beginning of the sentence and later we use a positive uh, form of the sentence. So that's it for today. Stay tuned, repeat or revise your English and see you next time. Bye bye.